Welcome to Success in Medicine. I'm Dr. Samir Desai. Here at the Success in Medicine podcast, we're all about helping you reach your professional goals in medicine. We don't believe in giving you just general advice. We want to offer you very specific advice, recommendations that you can implement to get you closer to whatever your goals may be. Of course, to achieve our goals in medicine, we must first get into medical school, which I'm sure you'll agree is no easy feat. The last hurdle in this process, the medical school admissions process, is the medical school interview, a topic with which I am intimately familiar. Over the past four years, I have written two books on the subject. The first one is titled Medical School Interview, Winning Strategies from Admissions Faculty. This is a resource that focuses on strategies to help students deliver a powerful interview performance during the traditional medical school interview. In recent years, A growing number of schools have adopted a new interview format, the multiple mini interview. That led me to write the book, Multiple Mini Interview, Winning Strategies from Admissions Faculty. What readers have especially liked about these books is the detailed approach that we take. And now in this podcast, I would like to take this detail to an even higher level by focusing on individual schools. Today's podcast will be the start of a series of podcasts on how to make a favorable impression at different medical schools. So first up on our list of medical schools is the Texas A&M University College of Medicine. If you've received an invitation to interview at Texas A&M, let me congratulate you. 40 years ago, in 1977, the school opened its door to its first group of medical students. In the four decades that have passed, graduates have made important contributions to patient care, research, teaching, and advocacy. Having received an interview, you're one step closer to becoming an Aggie. The school has determined that you have the intellectual ability to handle the challenges of medical school. Now, in the interview, the school seeks to assess whether you have the personal attributes needed for success as a physician. As an interview coach located in Houston, I have conducted mock interviews for many medical school applicants hoping to secure positions at Texas A&M. I would like to offer you some very specific recommendations for success based on my experience. So let's start by talking about the qualities and skills that you should highlight during your Texas A&M med school interview. And so there are numerous traits required for success as a physician. I remember reading an article a few years back which identified the 92 most important traits of a successful physician. And while there is no need to relate this many traits during your interview, it's important that you highlight certain specific traits. So at the Texas A&M University College of Medicine, the medical school places considerable emphasis on the following traits. Compassion, responsibility, communication skills, social consciousness, maturity, personal integrity, tolerance, and motivation for a career in medicine. As you prepare for the interview, think about your strengths in these areas. And what I want you to do is also reflect upon the evidence that you can provide from your life to support these strengths. Remember that it's great to say that you are compassionate or you are responsible or that you have great communication skills, but it's even better if you can offer an example that makes what you're saying much more believable. Now that we've talked about the qualities and skills to highlight during your interview, Let's shift gears a little bit and talk about your interviewers. Applicants interviewing at Texas A&M will have two 30-minute one-on-one interviews. What you should know is that the admissions committee is a very diverse group. It consists of faculty, medical students, and administrators. While you may have two faculty interviewers, don't be surprised if you have another combination of interviewers. So for example, you might have one faculty and one administrator, or you may have a faculty interviewer who is coupled with a medical student interviewer. 
One important piece of advice has to do with the medical student interviewer. Medical student members of the admissions committee take their work very, very seriously. You shouldn't assume that you'll have an easier experience with a student interviewer. I say that to you because some applicants have dropped their guard with student interviewers, revealing information about themselves that they would never have dreamt of sharing with a faculty interviewer. So what this means is that you should always treat the medical student interviewer exactly the same as a faculty interviewer. One important question that you will undoubtedly be asked at Texas A&M is why are you interested in Texas A&M? Developing an answer to the question why Texas A&M will be an important part of your interview prep. This is a question that I routinely ask my mock interview clients and it's remarkable to me how often the answers sound the same. So let me give you an example of the typical answer. I really like your new curriculum where students spend the first year and a half in the basic sciences before moving on to their clinical training. I think that it's great to have the extra clinical electives and to start them early in medical school. I've also heard that doing some rotations before you take the USMLE Step 1 exam can really help students perform well. Now let's analyze this response and determine if it's an effective answer. So I agree with the interviewee's comments that earlier clinical exposure is a very attractive feature of the school's curriculum, but it's unlikely to score the interviewee points with the interviewer. Why? Consider it from the interviewer's perspective. He or she may be interviewing three to five applicants on any given day. If every applicant says something similar, who do you think will stand out? That's right, no one. It represents a lost opportunity to stand out and make a memorable impression. And yet, this is exactly what happens more often than not. I don't want you to misunderstand me. There's nothing wrong with discussing how you were drawn to the school because of its curriculum. But I encourage you to dig deeper so that you can offer a more detailed and specific answer. I would like to give you an example, but first let me review the structure of the curriculum at Texas A&M to provide context for my forthcoming example. After spending one year at the Bryan College Station campus, Texas A&M medical students complete the rest of their education at campuses in Round Rock, Temple, Dallas, and Houston. There's also a group of students that complete all four years of medical school at the Bryan College Station campus. These students participate in a longitudinal clinical clerkship system termed the A&M Integrated Medicine, or AIM for short. Although the longitudinal integrated clerkship system has been around for quite some time, only a small percentage of U.S. medical schools currently have this system in place. Most schools have the traditional clinical block rotations where students devote their entire learning to a specific specialty for a fixed period of time before moving on to another rotation. AIM students, on the other hand, work with physicians in core specialties regularly for an entire year. And so what they may do is they may spend one day out of the week in family medicine and another day out of the week in internal medicine. And what they'll do throughout the course of that year is they will follow a panel of patients over a much longer period of time. And by doing that, they're going to develop stronger, deeper, and more fulfilling relationships. And that's not the only benefit of the AIM program. Another benefit is that students will develop stronger relationships with supervising faculty because they will be working with those faculty members over the period of a year. And that's not something that you find in the traditional clinical block rotation system. So with this background information in hand, your answer to the question, why Texas A&M, could very easily be transformed to the following. 
I really like your new curriculum where students spend the first year and a half in the basic sciences before moving on to their clinical training. I am particularly interested in your longitudinal integrated clerkship system offered at the Bryan College Station campus. I worked in a primary care office as a medical scribe for one year and I really enjoyed having continuity with patients. Seeing patients multiple times over the course of the year allowed me to form deeper relationships. I was also able to see how the disease was impacted by our treatment. If I'm fortunate to be a part of the AIM program, I know that I would certainly benefit from the relationships that I build with patients over a long period of time. I know that my supervising faculty would have more opportunities to observe my skills and provide feedback. So the continuity with both patients and faculty would help me build a strong foundation for my career as a physician. And this is something that really draws me to your school and its curriculum. That said, I know that there are limited spots for the program. Even if I don't get one of these spots, I know that my education would still be top notch, whether I'm placed in Round Rock, Temple, Dallas, or Houston. So now you can see the difference between this interview answer and our original answer. An applicant answering the question in this manner would have succeeded in delivering a very specific answer tailored to the school's curriculum. The answer would have, been, would have been viewed as thoughtful, and the interviewer would have been left with the impression that this student would be a great fit for the AIM program. Note that as part of my answer, I had the interv interviewee indicate that she would be happy at Texas A&M even if she wasn't able to participate in the AIM program. So there you have it, some very specific points to elevate your interview performance at Texas A&M. To recap, you'll want to highlight skills and qualities valued by A&M, and you'll want to create a specific answer to the question, why are you interested in Texas A&M, which doesn't blend in with the answers given by other applicants. For more medical school interview resources, visit our website, thesuccessfulmatch.com. I'm also excited to let you know that I am working very hard on an online medical school interview course. If you have some suggestions in terms of questions you'd like me to address in this course, please contact us at thesuccessfulmatch.com. Until next time, I'm Dr. Samir Desai. <laughs>